Yo, yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Vaughn next door, man. I know, I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while, but guess what? I'm back on YouTube for good. I'm back here to stay. I'm back here to give you guys so much more content. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Vaughn. Welcome to my channel. Alright, so today I'm going to be giving you guys a breakdown video of Nas 100, the nasty Nas, and Nas nasty. You get what I'm saying? So, I just want to give you guys a breakdown. Hopefully this breakdown can give you guys a better understanding of exactly how I was able to take this trade, what was my mind, what was my mindset behind this trade when I actually took it. These, these, I want you guys to understand these type of setups that I take, these type of trades I set, I want to be as ease on the mind as possible. Okay, I want you guys to understand that trading is 90% mindset and only 10% skill. I'm telling you guys right now, if you guys don't have your mindset correct, you're not going to make money in this market. So what I want to do is I'll create the space where I want to be able to bring you guys through my mindset, bring you guys through my approach of exactly how it is I take the market, how all my students take the market, so you guys can have the same exact visualization and actually get the same results for you guys. So without further more, Make sure you guys are actually liking this video. Subscribe up, man. Turn that post notification button on. Cause I'm telling you guys now, we got videos coming every single day. I know for a fact, we stopped back in 2019. It's 2023. We are back. We're going to upload. We're constantly posting every single day. We're going to create one of the biggest communities with numbers live, men live, but num look, was boy live. Sorry, what the fuck? Men live, women live, numbers never live. But let's go ahead and get into this video, man. Let's get it, bro. Let's go. All right, YouTube, so we're about to go ahead and get ready to jump into these setups. To jump into this, just exactly what it is that we saw, what is exactly that I saw that made me take this trade. I'm going to give you guys the exact entry models, exactly how I found each trade, how exactly we take it. I want you guys to understand that trading is simply just a game of transfer, right? It's just like energy. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So I want you guys to understand that when trading, it's all simply a transfer from the impatient to the patient, okay? So I want you guys to understand that if you're not somebody who have any patience, there's a lot of self-development we have to do. There's a lot of self-development you have to do first in order to actually become the trader that you actually want because patience is a big key when it comes to actually trading, right? So what I want you guys to understand is that there's a simple concept we look for when we are trading, okay? Now, exactly before I break this down, break down the Nas, um, the Nas trades that we had, I want to show you guys the simple concepts we look for when it's trading. All you guys have to do is understand the responsibilities of the market, which is smart money, and learn how price delivers, which is price action, okay? So once you guys are literally able to understand it too, this is when trading starts to make a lot more sense, all right? So... I'm just going to give you guys a visual representation of what is this, what exactly what I mean. So let's just say, for example, if we are on a uptrend family, if we are on an uptrend, that means we constantly are going to have highs created, we're going to have higher lows created, and we're going to have even higher highs, okay? So this is what I want you guys to understand is that when these higher highs are created, these need to be our indication of where the market is going. That's how price action is delivered, and then we need to know on the smart money basics of it, what price needs to do it needs to come back needs to liquidate needs to mitigate price and fulfill gaps before even pushing up or going to the next zone in our next range okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just paint the picture for you guys of exactly how it is on the buy side and exactly how it is on the sell side so you guys can get a big, bigger visual of exactly what it is that we have going on so you guys can make it make sense all right so let's just say we have price created a low, we create a higher high, do we create a higher low, do we create a higher high, okay? So pay attention to this. This is what we would do. Anytime we see that price creates a new high, we wait. We wait, we wait on our fingers. We don't touch anything, all right? This is just a simple indication of where price wants to go, okay? And smart money-wise, every time I know that price creates a new high, I know some form of retracement is coming. Anytime price creates a new high, I know some form of retracement is coming. So all I have to see is where that retracement is more likely to come and stop at before the buyers take over control again, maybe pushing price up to where it came from or to even a newer high. All right, so let's just paint this picture. I'm gonna bring you guys through the steps. Now, we have price come up, we created a high, we have our higher low, and then price broke through our high and created a newer high. So now us knowing that we created a newer high, we're expecting a retracement. But now I want you guys to understand this, always measure how high that the market went from when it broke the last previous high. Okay, so when we broke this last previous high, Price went from here and it stopped here. So I want you guys to understand something, right? When price broke above this high, the buyers were in control from here to here before price eventually started turning around. Now I'm going to simply show you guys now the next thought process that we want to look for. So remember, price went ahead and broke above this high. So now we at least know that the buyers are in control from here to here. 
All right. And now we're our daily bias is already biased. OK, you want to be able to make sure you got your daily bias from your higher time frames. OK, I'm going to go ahead and dive a little bit more into that throughout this video. But we want to make sure that our daily bias is already confirmed and locked and loaded. All right. So I'm just give you guys prime examples. OK, so let's just say our daily bias here is buys bullish. So we're not taking any sales. We want to take take, um, take buys at the most discounted price. OK, I want you guys to understand and with trading there's premium and discount, right? There's, there's high price. You want to sell a price at, and there's discounted price. where you want to buy prices at. OK, so with us seeing price creating a new range, creating a new high on um, on the charts, we want to catch it at the most discounted price with us being that we have the buying bias. OK, we want to catch it at the most discounted price. OK, so now this is what I would do. I would just simply wait for price to go ahead and retrace. Now, let's just say price retrace from this is from our new low to our high. So what we want to do, we want price to retrace. OK, so now all we're going to simply wait for. Okay, wait for price to you know start mumbling his way back down. Wait for price to mumble his way back down. And now we have price in our most discounted areas, which is our 70, 79, 88. These are our most discounted areas where price I like to call this our golden zone. This is the areas where price would like to mostly react. And if, if it's going to keep structure, this is the areas where we would like to target the most to potentially catch that buy back to the upside. So what I'm gonna teach you guys is walk you guys through the mindset of how we're catching our most fractal finest entries through smart money, through understanding the, the, the responsibilities of trading, but still being able to catch the overall move because we know how price delivers. Okay, price delivers in such an algorithm work, work, um, way, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna make this all make sense for you guys. So now let's see. Price went up, we created a new high. We know price was, buyers are in control from here to here. So all we're simply doing is that we know once price close above this level, we know for a fact we can at least take our buys from here to here. Okay? And that's with price action. But now when smart money, we want to make sure all our responsibilities are checked off. So with price action, what do we have? We had liquidity below these lows that are being taken out. Okay, we might have had some imbalance right here where we have gaps in the market where price needs to come back and fill those gaps before potentially going up. So these are all these different things. So now we watch price get our retracement. Okay, we have the liquidity get taken out. We have the um, we have the gaps get filled. We have price come back into our discounted areas. We have all these different confluences that's going to allow us to be able to get into this trade confidently with a POI, knowing where it is our stop losses and knowing where it is our exit point is. Okay, so we have to know exactly where we're getting out, where we're getting in the trade, where's our stop loss. Where's our take profit? You should not be getting into any trades without having a plan of getting out. Just like how you plan to get in a trade, you should already have your plan on getting out. That's why it's called execution on a trade because you're literally executing at a certain moment and you know where you're in and where you're getting out. You don't get into a trade and hopefully hope it falls off a cliff, hopefully shoots to the moon. Because at the end of the day, if you fail to plan, you're somebody who plans on failing. And I want you guys to understand, you guys should be having a trade plan on where you know where you're getting in the markets and where you're getting out the markets, right? This is why I like this type of style of trading because this allows me to know where I'm looking for my POIs, looking for my point of interest, and I know for a fact where I'm getting out every single trade. Even if I don't catch my move, whatever the case may be, I know for a fact this is where I'm getting out on the trade. So I know for a fact that I want to catch my move down here where we're the most discounted price, but I know for a fact this is where my first entry, this is where my first take profit would be for when I'm looking to get into a trade. Okay, so at least either I'm catching my entry here or I'm catching my entry here. So let's let me kind of walk through it again. So now we have price push up, create a new high. So we know that with we know that buyers are in control to go ahead and create that new high. Now after our new high is, is created, we know price must retrace, must correct itself. You know what I'm saying? That correction is filled with the responsibility of smart money, which is liquidating, um, liquidating and mitigating price and closing gaps. So we understand that part. So now once price is done doing what it needs to do. Now, if we didn't catch our entry here, what I want you guys to understand is that now when we get a change of character, break a structure back to the upside, I want you guys to understand is that now I may have gotten an entry here, but also as well, I want you guys to understand and know something that you guys are going to also be able to take entries from right here as well to target. We would take trades from here as well to target. If this was a low, we would have it below that low and we target this high. Okay. 
We target that high. And depending on how that low is, we could either be at a, a 1 to 10 or, you know what I'm saying, if, even if we give ourselves a little bit more room on the stop losses, 1 to 6. Well, it's simply what I want you guys to understand is that we're taking, we understand that price must at least deliver to this high before either breaking up or coming back down to go ahead and start creating some different type of difficult price action. Price action. So I want you guys to simply understand is that if I didn't catch my trade here, I'm still going to go ahead and catch my trade here. And me catching my trade here gives me a lot more confidence and reassurance only for the simple fact that all the responsibilities of the trade that need to be taken care of was done back here. But guess what? Some people may have gotten, they don't they don't know exactly the, where they want to get in at or see the order blocks that they want. They might have gotten in this level and went through all that drawback, right? Drawdown before eventually price come back up and going even higher. So I want you guys to understand, this is how you guys are going to get your most fractal entries, okay? This is how you guys will get your most fractal entries. Through the smart money and through entries, through price action, you guys will be able to learn how price delivers. And I'm going to show you guys that, right? So let's not go ahead and waste any more time. Um, I feel like you guys got the example of that. For, for, please, also, make sure you guys comment down below in the chat. Let me know what it is you guys need. Let me know what it is you guys want to hear more. I want I want you guys to understand this is this channel is for you. This channel is for you guys to be able to come in here and actually learn. You know what I'm saying? I want you guys to get on these get on these videos, see these videos, and actually get value from them. Because I want you guys to understand that we're dealing with the world's largest financial market. Once you guys learn this skill set, I promise you, your life will not be the same. It will not. I don't care if you make $150 a day. I don't care if you make $50 a day, okay? I want you guys to understand we're, at the, we're in a time where you guys have have space and opportunity to learn something that we all didn't grow up on. I don't know about you. I know for a fact I'm a Jamaican male. I did not grow up on this. This is something that I've been learning for the last five years, and it's something that I didn't have no idea about before, okay? So I hope that I did make an example for you. So let's just go ahead and look at what exactly um what exactly happened with our setup this past week with nas okay so i'm just going to kind of give you guys a breakdown of exactly what happened as you can see we caught we caught nas crazy okay so i'm going to go ahead and do an instant bar replay so you guys can just kind of see what it is that we're looking for okay so family what i want you guys to understand what was i looking for at this particular time right let's make let's make sure the market is either going in two ways right that we care about uptrend or downtrend we don't care about consolidation we don't care about sideways movements all right so what i want you guys to understand is that if price is creating a downtrend that means the price is always going to be creating new lows if price is in an uptrend that means price is always going to be creating a new highs so with us seeing the market here is in a downtrend we're looking for price to always create new lows now there's people called breakout traders. These breakout traders are the ones who like to catch them when price go create that new low and price likes to go create that new high. I personally, I like to sit on my fingers and wait. I feel like I these are just me watching the footprints of the bigger players. So let's just say, for example, what I want you guys to understand, let's look at this. We clearly have price creating a, 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 in a downtrend. We had 15,171. Then we had price... Go back up to then we had price go back up to 15269, right? Price also came down to 15144. Okay. Then price went back up to 15253 before eventually coming down and taking out 15144. Okay. So what I want you guys to understand is that the last low, this was our last low. 15144 was the last low that we saw in the market. Okay. This was the last low we had before price went up to 15.253 and came down and eventually shot down and took out this low. So what I want you guys to understand is like this is now our new low created. And once again, I told you guys, once price create a new high or creates a new low, we want to measure how much or how long was the buyers or sellers in control. So when price broke below this low and pushed price to here, this is how much we know that price is uh, This is where we know sellers are in control from here to here. So the moment that price closes under this level, I can at least take my trade from here to here. Okay. And that's of me simply understanding price action. But now me having a bigger understanding that smart money exists, liquidation exists, mitigation exists, fully imbalance exists. I understand that those parts may be are important as well. So well, let's look. We have price have a lot of imbalance, right? So we have price now retracing. So what I did now, we market moves in ranges. All we did was we take our top of our range to the bottom of our range, okay? And now we know that we have our most uh, premium and discounted areas. If being that this is a downtrend, this needs to be a premium area, 
okay so our most premium areas would be the 88 79 70 area this is our golden zone as long as price doesn't break this high at 15,253, we're still looking for a short tear because that's the last most recent thing we saw the market do was create new lows. Okay, after price create a new low, I told you guys after it creates a new low, the price market must come back to retrace. It must come back to correct itself before continuing in the market. Okay, so we know that 15,253 was the last high that we had that took out our low at 15,144. So we're just looking for price to come back as high as possible, as close as possible to that 15,253 for us to go ahead and at least take our shorts bound down to um, down to this 15,0.65. Okay, so here's what I want you guys to understand. Now we're patiently wait, patiently wait, patiently wait. And you guys want to also, also make sure we're always in session when we're trading. All right, always at New York, 9 o'clock. Okay, so boom. We, were the, we, we got to this trade. Okay, clearly we see price come back into the 88.79 area. So this was our perfect entry. We have our stop loss above this high. We have our stop loss above this high. I want you guys to understand. You should be risking one percent of your trade every single, every, one percent of your account every single trade. Meaning that if we had lost this trade, we could have been able to got right back in and still been able to collect everything because we're not risking the house on one trade. Okay, then we're gonna say that for another video. All right. Now, we know for a fact this was our high. This is the height of our range. This is the bottom of our range. So what we can first do is from the high of our range, we're gonna target the low of our range. Okay. And where we're we talking the lower of our range from, from up here to here, smart money, from price action. When after all of this is already cleared out and price is here, I want you guys to just see how price reacts. Okay, so and now that's how we now we have price going ahead and giving us that reaction. Then price goes and break below that level. We're already in. We would already be in here already. Okay, we would already be in here already. And then I want you guys to just see how price just simply just delivers to that low. You guys, you see how we knew that sellers were in control. You saw how price came to this level and just delivered to that low. Yes, we caught our entries up here from smart money. But because we understand how price delivers and the responsibilities behind price, it's like, hmm, well, once I watch price liquidates and watch I watch price, you know, go ahead and mitigate and hit our order block. This is where I want you guys to understand is that taking your entry from here to here. You guys, like, I want you guys to understand that's how price delivers, okay? So, that's how we were simply able to go ahead and catch that move. And as you guys see, Nas tanked after that. Nas tanked, okay? And even today, I want, I want to go ahead and show you guys, but even today, we had the same example. I want you guys to show, I want, I want, to, I want you guys to understand that price is so fractured and it does everything. Like, it does the same thing on higher time frames and everything. So, you're going to see the same type. So, now, when I'm, look, when I'm looking and I'm noticing on price... Is that price is creating, you know, a downward channel. What I noticed is that downward channels are just simply building up liquidity for a big push up, honestly. Um, only for the simple fact of me look, believing in that is because I know that a, a, a descending channel is just, uh, it's just a bullish pattern. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's just simply representing price, not really wanting to go down while it's still going down. And eventually, we get some type of big spike up. Okay, so let's give you one more example. Let's look at this, family. So this was today. All right, this was today, um, September 27, 2023. What did we have? We had a price take out this low, 14,617. What was the high that took it out? 14,725. So from 14,725 to 14,505, this is the range we are playing within, okay? So now I know that this is the range our most premium prices to sell from around here is a 79.89 area, okay? Now I want you guys to understand, Anything above the 50%, right? Anything above the 50% is a selling territory. It's just the 50% is the equilibrium. So now what I want you guys to understand, what happened today? Because if I were to simply just wait for price to come back to the 79.88%, I wouldn't have caught this trade. But what made me catch this trade? Let's, go, let's talk about it. Okay. Well, this particular trade, we saw that we're playing within this range. I saw that we had some liquidity right here above this high. So I know for a fact is that, okay, price was either going to run this liquidity and melt or we're going to get price to really just blast through this liquidity come up into a higher um, zone fill up our gaps a little bit more before eventually going down so once i seen the price went ahead and ran that liquidity and took out those liquidities i'm like okay we can go ahead and take that sell now that's when we went ahead and got in for a sell we got in for our sell and we once we got in for our sell i know for a fact let me show you guys let me go to a smaller time frame Okay, 
So once we got it for a sell, I'm like, okay, well, we can go ahead and start targeting these lows. Now, not to mention, I was also on a smaller time frame, and I was kind of playing the same concept of, um, you know, of the sellers being in control of below this low. So I know for a fact, once price closed below this low um, right here, I know for a fact, again, we had another entry. So of course, we won the first trade. We won the first trade from taking it from, from price liquidating itself up here, pushing down, taking out these lows and retracing back. We won our first trade. Now we're on to our second trade. Okay, now we're on to our second trade. Well, I want you guys to understand. Look how price delivers. Once price closed below this level, I'm targeting here. Even though our overall goal was 15,505. Okay, and that's how we we're able to go ahead and hit our take profits on these trades. So I want you guys to understand price is so fractal. And I want you guys to go ahead and drop, leave your comments, leave your feedback on this video so you guys, so I can get, so I can know how to better prepare these videos for you guys so I can know, give you guys a better visualization, right? But family, I want you guys to understand, man, this thing is, it's not hard, it's simple, but it takes repetition, it takes time for you guys to go ahead and put the work in, and all you guys have to do is just have that mindset and dedicate you to ded dedicate yourself to this craft, okay? Um, for those of you, my preferred broker that I use, it would, be in my, it would be my bio, if you guys want to personally learn from me, if you guys want more information, feel free to hit me up on Instagram, my Instagram is at Von Next Door, um, trade community, everything down below in the bio, if you guys want to learn more, get a little access, get more clarity and vision on like, this going on. Look in the bio below. But other than that, family, make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications on. We're about to have bangers coming every single week. I'm on my YouTube grind. I understand there's real value out here to give. I understand there's real. There's a whole other generation. There's a whole industry out there that's waiting for people to come in here and take this thing over. But you can't guess what? You can't blame somebody for what they don't know. But other than that, man, see y'all till next time. And we out of here. Let's be peace.